Okay, this is the uh, Panda Board ES platform based on OMAP 4460 processor from Texas Instruments. Let's open the box and see what's inside. So as you can see, uh, the board looks uh, pretty much identical to the uh, 4430 based Panda board, but we have uh, the 4460 processor from TI that's running up to 1.2 gigahertz in the middle of the board. And uh, also we've introduced a new um, TI Wi-Link 6.0 based connectivity module for Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, as well as it supports Bluetooth uh, low energy technology. Um, and uh, also we've made some RF improvement related uh, changes on the board uh, which should help in terms of connecting to a wireless access point. And um, also we've introduced a, a new sysboot control switch so that you can control the boot order of the board whether you want to boot it from the uh, serial port, USB uh, or MMC and so on. So in addition, uh, we've also made some improvements um, in terms of connecting to external displays. Uh, for example, uh, the DPI display, the display parallel interface, uh, can be easily connected to hook up to a third party display without having to populate uh, resistors on the back of the board. Uh, in addition, we've also um, enabled a DSI header uh, display serial interface on the back of the board uh, so you can actually hook up um, external DSI uh, displays onto the board easily as well. Um, in addition to uh, those uh, changes that I mentioned, uh, we've left uh, all of the remaining features and as well as the placement of various connectors intact um, as identical to the 4430-based Panda board. So you should see uh, uh, compatibility across both the 4430 and as well as the 4460 Panda board, both from a hardware and a software point of view.